You may be average, you may be ordinary, but you have the opportunity every single day to make extraordinary decisions. And what you do today will determine your future. The future is very expensive. The currency to get to the future, the bridge that we build, it is built on your daily decisions, your habits, your programming, the way that you think, the way that you talk, the way that you walk, blood, sweat, tears, sacrifice, people that you have to let go, sleep that you have to lose, multiple jobs that you have to work, hours on end of study, beating on your craft every single day. It's not easy, but it's worth it. There are going to be nights you're going to cry yourself to sleep. There are going to be times you're going to want to throw in the towel. But if you keep going, your future self will thank you. If you can hear your future self talking to you now, the future you would say thank you for not giving up. Thank you for not throwing in the towel. Thank you for not allowing the despair and the anguish and the anger and the bitterness and the jealousy and the ego to eat away at your progress and your perseverance and your ability to travail and endure. I believe in the future, number one. You gotta get crystal clear about who you believe you've been destined to be. Because everybody's looking to manifest. We are all looking to evolve. We are all looking to level up. What is your life's purpose? What is your destiny? Why on earth are you here? What is it that you can do today to get closer to the fulfillment of that future? To get closer to the manifestation of the future? What are you doing today? What are you giving today? Remember why you had to let some people go. Remember why you're working so hard towards this thing. You're pressing, you're pushing, you're clawing, you're dragging yourself through mud and through murky water. Come on, remember why you're doing what you're doing. It may be difficult. It may seem impossible. The moment that you discover why you're here, spend the rest of your life Execute. There are going to be times when you give everything you have. And everything that you have is not enough. Push through the pain. Push through the anguish. Push through the brokenness. Do not stop. It's the no quit mentality. Wherever you are now is not where you're going to end up. You are special, and you've been designed to change the world. So many of us want so many different things, and our life is filled with entertainment and recreation and people that we have not appraised. Have you appraised your connections? Have you done a scrupulous evaluation of everyone in your life? Are they assets or are they liabilities? Yes, you want the future, but what's your plan? And then the moment that you create the plan and you've ironed out all the kinks and you're crystal clear and you've got this plan, you've got this aim, this target, then you gotta stay committed. With tears in your eyes, you gotta be committed when your brain is hurting. You gotta be committed when you haven't gotten sleep in a few days. You gotta be committed. You gotta plow through that depression, that heaviness, that weariness and you gotta cling to the joy of the thought of the future that if you finish this course, then there is a reward at the end of this pain. You may feel as though you are not able to breathe now. You may be inundated with responsibility and it seems as though there is no way out of this. You have to be grateful for the ground that you've gained and guard the ground that you've gained. Celebrate the small wins. If we keep looking at the big picture, if we keep looking at the end game, if that's all we fix our eyes on, 
then we'll get off kilter. We'll lose our footing and we'll walk around discouraged because you're not gonna just wake up in one day and fulfill destiny. It's the process that's perfecting us. It's the ins and the outs and the nuances. It's the song and the dance between destiny and the journey and the process and the promise. And we've got to learn how to execute the day. Give us this day. We've got to learn how to execute the day. Did you conquer the day? I'm not where I'm supposed to be, but I'm not where I used to be. And so we've got to celebrate the small wins, those mental wins, those emotional wins, those relational wins, those financial wins, those spiritual wins. We've got, we've got to celebrate, celebrate. And then we've got to be kind, not only to others throughout our process, but we've got to be kind to ourselves. The problem with many of us is that we're not kind to ourselves. Be kind to yourself. You can be assertive, you can be direct, you can be firm, but you can have a little empathy and a little kindness, not only on others, but on yourself. Because the truth of the matter is, you are not going to always feel like doing what you were designed to do, okay? And so we've got to condition ourselves for the stretch. With gratitude, we're going to need that coupled with patience. The future takes time to manifest. The future takes time because you are beautifully equipped to get the results you are currently getting and there are some bigger results that you are after and in order to get those results, in order to manifest that very specific future, you are going to have to acquire a different set of skills, a different work mentality. It's going to require you to become a different version of yourself. Elevation is all over you. Okay, next, you got to seize the opportunity. There are so many opportunities for you to grow, so many opportunities for you to learn, so many opportunities for you to share, for you to give, for you to understand, for you to think, for you to be quiet, for you to speak. And you've got to know when to do, what to do, why to do. This is the paradigm of the future. The future has a specific paradigm that you have to execute. You have to walk in this. You're going to have to move from limited beliefs and you're gonna to have to move into limitless believing. You have to know your boundaries, establish your guardrails. You gotta know your weaknesses and your strengths. Do not stop! It's the no quit mentality! I don't care what the adversity has been. You have two choices. You can be unforgiving, bitter, angry, upset, and be a carrier of grief, or you can choose resilience. You can cope with what happened. You can upload the program of resilience and recover all and get back to the place where you were before the fall. Stop waiting for the storm to pass and ask yourself the question, what can I accomplish in the rain? What can I accomplish in the rain? Who can I become in the rain? There are people all over the world who are depending on you. So our wounds become wisdom. We have a new program. It's called resiliency. The race is not given to the strong, nor the swift, but it is given to he that endureth until the end. Life doesn't get any easier. It doesn't get more forgiving. We just get stronger and we get more resilient. One thing we know is that adversity, conflict, trauma does not discriminate. We are all acquainted with pain. I don't care how many times life knocks you down, get back up and tell life, I'm supposed to be here. I belong here. Give me what's mine. When we tackle obstacles, when we face adversity and conflict, it is only then that we find hidden reserves of courage and resilience we didn't even know we had. It's literally only when we face failure 
that we realized these resources were always there within us. We only need to find them to fulfill our destinies. After life has beaten you and broken you into pieces, resiliency is that gift and ability. It's the discipline to turn those pieces into a work of art. Many of you listening to me know what it's like to lose everything. You know what it's like to hit rock bottom. You know what it's like not to be supported. You know what it's like to be lied on. You know what it's like to experience emotional, relational, and psychological trauma. And it changes you because you don't know what you are made of until you have gone through something. You already know what failure feels like. You already know what it feels like to quit, to stop, to throw in the towel, to sit on the couch, to move to a substance, to put your confidence in some man or some woman, to lay idle. But do you know what it's like to give everything that you have and push and persevere? If you're gonna understand the program of resiliency, we are gonna to have to stop running from difficult times. Stop praying that the storm will pass over you and pray to grow through the storm. Stop going around it, go through it. What you go through, you will grow through. Some fights are not won in the first round. Flat out, and the moment that you get that and you get crystal clear and you accept the fact that there are some giants that you will not defeat in the first round. You need endurance. You need stamina to reach some goals. You're not gonna hit the million with the first investment. You're not gonna hit the home run always at first swing. But resiliency says, I belong here and I deserve another shot. I want my opportunity. Give me my opportunity. It's your reaction to adversity, not adversity itself, that determines how your life story will develop. Rock bottom is the solid foundation to build the future. And you've lost everything. You have everything you need. Resiliency says, I tried and I failed. Resiliency has its own mentality. The program of resiliency says, I tried and I failed, I tried and I failed, I tried and I failed, I tried and I failed again. I'm gonna start again and I'm not waiting till Monday. I'm gonna start right now. I tried again and again and I succeeded. See, what a lot of people don't know is that the movie, The Matrix, is, is more of a documentary than it is a movie. See, anytime Neo needed to accomplish something, they would just simply upload the program. If he needed to know Taekwondo, if he needed to know karate, if he needed to speak a different language, he would literally just upload the program to Neo's consciousness. Well, life works the same. There is a program. We all run programs. And it doesn't matter if you're at the county fair, it doesn't matter if you're at the family cookout, it doesn't matter if you're at home watching a movie in the basement or on vacation with your, your wife or your husband, we're all running a program. And you have default settings within your subconscious. And we have, many of us deal with laziness. Many of us deal with anger. Many of us deal with frustration. And these are different programs that we run. And so now you need to deliberately investigate and examine your internal man and ask yourself, what are the programs I'm running? Because for many of us, laziness is a program. Procrastination is a program. Anger and anguish and bitterness and unforgiveness is a program. And if you're gonna hang on to grief and anger and unforgiveness because of the lawsuit or because of the jail time, or because of the record that you think somebody messed up or the messy divorce you are going through or the job you lost or the business that tanked I don't care what the adversity has been you have two choices you can be unforgiving bitter angry upset and be a carrier of grief or you can choose resilience you can cope with what happened 
you can upload the program of resilience and recover all and get back to the place where you were before the fall. Get up! Stop waiting for the storm to pass and ask yourself the question, what can I accomplish in the rain? What can I accomplish in the rain? Who can I become in the rain? What can I build under these conditions? Resilience is based on compassion for ourselves as well as compassion for others. The future is hinged on your resiliency. Your family is depending on you to put in the work. Your friends, your circles of influence, your mentors. There are people all over the world who are depending on you. So our wounds become wisdom because our perspective. We have a new program. It's called resiliency. Are you willing to lose sleep? Are you willing to put the work in? Are you fully persuaded? Are you determined? I don't care how many times life knocks you down. Get back up and tell life, I'm supposed to be here. I belong here. Give me what's mine. When we tackle obstacles, when we face adversity and conflict, it is only then that we find hidden reserves of courage and resilience we didn't even know we had. It's literally only when we face failure that we realize these resources are always there within us. We only need to find them to fulfill our destinies. After life has beaten you and broken you into pieces, resiliency is that gift and ability. It's the discipline to turn those pieces into a work of art. Every day that you wake up, remember someone else did not. You are alive for a reason. Why on earth are you here? This is your day. You've got a window. You've got another 24 hours because you may not make it to tomorrow. And I'm just wondering what you're going to do with the day. The reason why days often feel meaningless and mundane is because we are directionless. You gotta get some direction. I'm just wondering what are you gonna do in this next 24 hours that you did not do? I'm just wondering if you're gonna level up two millimeters more than you did yesterday. Are you gonna get better? Are you gonna get stronger? Are you gonna get wiser? Are you gonna see this thing differently? I'm just wondering when are you going to see the power of 24 hours? that you did not have to wake up, that God did not have to give you another opportunity to be here, another opportunity to forgive somebody, another opportunity to let it go, another opportunity to look up and get up. I'm just wondering when are you going to seize the opportunity? Accept where you are. Get cognizant about your money. Get cognizant about your relationships. Where are you mentally? Where are you spiritually and emotionally and financially and economically? Are you driving what you are destined to drive? Where's your health? Where's your heart? Let's get aware of where we are. This is my day to read a new book. This is my day to start a journey. This is my day to make an investment. This is my day to invest in myself. This is my day and this is my time and it's my turn to crush this day. This is the day I learn like I never have. This is the day I invest like I never have. This is the day I take it seriously. I've got one window. I may not be here tomorrow. I'm just wondering if you're going to rise and see the opportunity. Get up, get up, get up. You've got a day to conquer.
if the day's going to be good, I got to heal from the mistakes that were made yesterday. I've got to believe that I don't have to make the same mistakes. It's time to heal. Today I heal. Today I heal from every mistake that is made. Today I heal from everything that I said that I could have said better and everything that was said to me that I wish was never said. I heal today from the people that pushed me verbally but did not support me physically, that were never present. Today I heal, I heal, I heal. I heal from what I did not have. I heal from what I did have that I did not want. Today I heal. After we heal, we have to acknowledge what went wrong. What could I have done differently? What boundaries did I allow to be breached? Relationally, financially, with my investments, with my mindset. Where did I put my energy and I didn't get anything back in return? It's like investing in a vending machine with a sign on it that says out of order. And I'm convinced that many of us invest in people and places that are just simply out of order. And this is why we're trained. And this is why we're tired. And this is why we're weary and well-doing. And this is why the day is mundane and it's the same old, same old. Something's gotta change with you. I'm just wondering if you're gonna repeat the cycle. If the redundancy of mediocrity is going to continue, we've got purpose and we've got fulfillment and we've got destiny breathing down our necks. Let's accept the truth. This is the only way the day matters is if we get aware of what's happening and what's going on. What has my attention? Do I have the attention span of a toddler or a champion? And so once we accept where we are and we accept that truth, we got to give ourselves time to heal. We got to learn from not only our mistakes, but learn from others' mistakes. We have to study why we fail, how we fail, and we've got to ensure that we never do it again. If you're going to win the war for the day, you're going to have to have a high threshold for pain. You will be offended. People will let you down. People will lie to you. Places, circumstances, life will unfold and unravel. This life will knock you in your mouth. But you gotta stay focused. Even when it's painful, even when we're ostracized, even when we're excommunicated and ghosted, it may hurt, but that pain will subside. If you're going to crush this day, this week, this month, this quarter, and this year, and if the rest of your life is going to be the best of your life, you're going to have to think differently, plan differently, set the goal, and you're going to have to write it down. You've got to get clear, you've got to get specific, and once you get specific, what you wrote down mandates what you do. I said it before, I say it again. Oftentimes, the day feels mundane and meaningless because we are directionless. Write the vision down. Get clear, get specific, write it down. Document it, get serious about it. Write it, read it. If you want to see success, then you need to make the planning stages significant and you need to see the value in the process. We want wealth, but we don't want a plan. We want success, but we don't want significance. We want connection, but we don't want correction. I've got to write it down and not only write it down, but I need my circle of accountability to correct things that may be wrong. Because if you're trying to build this dream and walk in your destiny by yourself, if you think you can pull it off with no help, with no purpose partner, then it's too small. I'm speaking healing over you. I'm speaking breakthrough over you. I'm speaking that you walk 
into your future that you'll let go of what was to step into what is. I, I, I believe this for you. I believe that as you become and not just do, that what you seek will pursue you. Destiny will begin to chase you down. No matter how far you have sunk, no matter how hard you have fallen, you've got enough grit, you've got enough grace, you've got enough faith, you've got enough courage to stand up. It's time to rise. This is your day. Get up and conquer your day.